The eighth eruption in the Sundunka crater chains of the Reckonus Peninsula was started in the Iceland. This is where the oceanic crust meets the land and cracks. This is the moment of eruption. And as the magma moves within the earth crust, it opens up the pathway. It creates tiny earthquakes or seismogram picks them up. They are continuing yet and they're extending toward the north as you can see here. But a feature of it, a portion of it, a line of it has already passed through the defense wall of the Grindavik, the town of the Grindavik, and almost is in line with the previous uh, eruption in the January 2024 when the, another uh, fissure opened up within the wall and burnt a few houses there. We can see the new fissure going inside the defense wall. This is the greenhouse to the left, and this is the line that is uh, connecting the new with the old fissure. This is the aerial photo by the Icelandic Meteorological Office. A hot water uh, pipe has burst in that area, and this is the uh, RUV uh, helicopter uh, view of this area. You can see that there are staggered fissures. They're not a straight line. One opens and then next one opens. This is the nature of the fault lines practically. When there is an extension in that area, you can see that many tiny uh, uh, fissures and all almost in the line of this uh, crack that is opening up in that area. And you can see that it has cut through the uh, defense wall. This is the defense wall at the center, lower part of it. And on the other side is also creating a flow of lava toward the west and the southwest. There is a uh, there is a hot water pipe broke up inside the Green Dubic due to the extension, probably, most likely. And uh, the town already is evacuated and magma can flow down to the cracks which already exist on the Green Dubic. I will have a video about this. I will put it at the end and fill up and erupt within the town. Also approaching the groundwater or even seawater, it can create phreatic eruption like what we saw in the previous eruptions. And the town of the Green Dubic, based on this, is a high risk area. This is the risk assessment legal document published by the Icelandic Meteorological Office and it shows what I mentioned. I'll put a video that I had about the cracks within the town of the Green Dubic and if they erupt anything within them, what happens. From the time of the creation of the earth, the inner core of it with the radioactive decay and the impact heat was hot. This heat creates convection cells through the mantle of the earth, which rises to the surface and cracks the hard and solidified crust of the earth, we call it lithosphere. And through these cracks, magma can erupt. Such a thing happens in Iceland on the land. We can see it, Eurasian plate and North American plate. Through these grabbins, this is the hollow that you see in the middle, uh, are separating. And through them, the magma forms and rises and creates lava. Eruption of the volcano, this is what we call it. And uh, this diagram shows that movement, ripping apart of the land, causes downfall of a, uh, a block of rock, and that creates cracks through the cracks, magma can uh, rise and melt and create lava. Now this is a different situation. The latest uh, seismogram depth of the earthquake shows that we have at the depth of the 5 kilometer and now reducing some earthquake activity. This is the Grindavik, you can see that. Under the Grindavik itself we don't have much, but toward the sea now we have a new situation. Before that, we had it to the north of the Grindavik in the Hagofall and Sundunka. We had eruptions in November. Uh, we had earthquake, then December eruption, and January again eruption. Through this grabbing that you can see in the middle part, and the fault lines, and the horse in the middle, we had cracks in the Grindavik, but no eruption. Magma was not there. This is going to, now going to change, it seems. Off the shore of the Grindavik, in the harbor and toward the ocean, we have the continuation of this horst and graben. This is practically a rift, a rift valley. We can see them through this uh, earthquake uh, diagram that I showed you, the depth of the earth. And we can see that at the depth of the five kilometer, up to now it was splitting apart. But it seems it's rising now, the earthquakes. 
With the rising of earthquakes, the magma can rise from the mantle toward near the surface. Eventually, it will erupt, create fissures, we will see. These are under the water. Nothing on the land in the Grindavik itself. The data doesn't show that. Well, we have evidence in the coastline of the uh, Grindavik. One by one, these things are happening. We had the Grindavik system related to uh, Swartzengi erupting now. And we have now in the Kristovik system some activity. Magma probably is rising again. I show you here. Clear forward is related to that uh, Kristovik volcanic system. And the Grindavik, you can see that. Near the Swartzengi, we don't have Sundunka, we have something. And now off the coast of the Grindavik, in the ocean, we see the rising of the earthquakes, means the magma is rising with it.